Hello everyone, and once again welcome to Maxfibe, I am Sihar Midas and we will be doing the 2012 AL project as question. So let's divide these two parts, two paragraphs into two parts. So if you go through the first part, a particle is projected under the gravity in a vertical plane with a velocity u at an angle theta to the horizontal at a point c which is at a height k from a point o. Consider a rectangular Cartesian system of coordinates by taking horizontal and vertical lines through the point O in the plane of projection as OX and OY axis respectively. If at time t the particle is at the point x, y, show that y equals k plus x tan theta minus gx square, 6 square theta over 2u square. So let's do that first part first. So if we go through that first part, a particle is projected under the gravity in a vertical plane with a velocity u at an angle theta to the horizontal at a point c which is at a height k from a point o. So we take a point o on the vertical plane, point c will be at a height k from point o. When the particle is projected from point C, the velocity u with an angle to the horizontal theta. So consider a rectangular Cartesian system of coordinates by taking horizontal and vertical lines through the point O in the plane of projection as OX and OY axis respectively. So they asked us to take the horizontal axis and vertical axis from point O as OX and OY. So if at a at time t the particle is at the point X and Y, show that Y equals K plus X tan theta minus G X square 6 square theta over 2 U square. So using that horizontal and vertical axis, we can mark x and y. So after time t, assuming that uh, particle is at a in the projectile, we can tell that the particle is at a vertical height y using the coordinates they have given. And also the horizontal distance as x. So this is our projectile. So now we they have asked us to show y equals k plus x tan theta minus g x square six square theta over two u square. So now we can apply the kinematic equations and we get what they have asked for y. So from applying to c to a. We apply to the horizontal is equals ut the horizontal displacement from the, by the particle is x and the horizontal initial horizontal velocity is u cos theta the time taken is t so you can take t is x over u cos theta so again we apply from c to a this time to the vertical upward vertical s equals ut plus half a t square so from c to a c to a the vertical displacement will be y minus x i minus k sorry seeing from the diagram we can see that y is greater than, greater than k so the vertical displacement will be y minus k and the vertical initial vertical velocity is u sin theta the time taken is t and for acceleration it, we are taking the gravitational acceleration since it's for the upwards, we have to take minus. 
so minus g t square over 2. So for t you can apply uh, what we got for t, t equals x over u cos theta. So further we can write y minus k equals u sin theta times x over u cos theta minus g over 2 times x squares minus u square cos square theta. So therefore, rather we can write y minus k. So it's u, both u's here will be cancelled. And sin theta or cos theta is tan theta. So x tan theta minus so g squares and cos 1 over cos square theta is 6 square theta so we can write g is x square 6 square theta so 2 u square is remaining so over 2 u square so then continue from what we got y minus k equals k tan y minus k equals x tan theta minus g x squared x squared theta over 2 u squared so then we can get y equals k plus x tan theta minus g x squared x squared theta over 2 u squared so that's what we are supposed to get so the first part is completed so now we can move on to the second part so moving on to the second part, a particle P is projected under the gravity in the vertical plane at the point A where the coordinates is 0 and H where H is positive with the velocity V at an angle alpha to the horizontal. At the same instant, another particle Q is projected under the gravity in the vertical plane at the point B where the coordinates are 0 and H O2 with the velocity W at an angle beta to the horizontal. If the two particles P and Q meet at a point whose horizontal distance is d, show that B cos alpha equals W cos beta and H equals 2d times tan beta minus tan alpha. Show also that the time taken of the two particles to meet is H over 2 times W sin beta minus B sin alpha. So going to the second part, the particle P is projected under the gravity in the vertical plane at the point A and the coordinates is 0 and h where h is positive with the velocity v at an angle alpha to the horizontal. So, particle p is projected at point a. If you take a vertical plane with a Cartesian, Cartesian system with an origin o, a, point a will be Point A will be at a height h. Let's mark the coordinates as 0 and h. h is positive, so that's why we are taking it the upwards. So the particle P is projected from point A with the velocity b. to the horizontal and also another particle at the same instant another particle Q is projected under the under gravity in the vertical plane at the point B where B is at 0 and H, H over 2 so B will be at B will be at half, dis, half distance from A so B is at C1 H over 2. So particle Q is projected from P to velocity W at an angle beta to the horizontal.
with the two particles P and Q meet at a point whose horizontal distance is D show that V cos alpha equals W cos beta and X equals 2D times tan beta minus tan alpha so they say they meet at a to the, these two particles meet at a point uh, where the horizontal distance is D so we have a connection point here so we assume they meet at this point the horizontal distance D This will be our projectiles for the second part. So, since these since both of these particles uh, are projected at the same instant, we can tell that uh, these two particles are collided at a common point at the same time. So, we can take that time as T naught and the point as C. So, now we can apply some kinematic equations. So, for the particle P, which is projected from A, you can take from A to C. So we can take the horizontal is equals ut. So the horizontal distance from for particle P is uh, D as given in the question and the horizontal in, in initial horizontal velocity is V cos alpha time taken we have taken is t0 that's our first equation so particle q we can take from b to c again uh, s equals ut to the horizontal again the horizontal distance is also d and uh, initial horizontal velocity is w cos beta And the time taken is T0. We have two equations and one equals to two because uh, both V cos T0 and W cos B T0 cos beta T0 is equal to D. So now we can equate those two equations. So by equating these two equations we can get V cos cos alpha t naught equals w cos beta t naught so t naught will get cancelled and what will remain is v cos alpha equals to w cos beta is what we are supposed to show first so now we can move on to proving that h equals 2d times tan beta minus tan alpha so to prove h equals 2d times tan beta minus tan alpha, I think we can use the equation we used that we proved from, from the first part, which is y equals k plus x tan theta minus g squared x squared theta over 2 u squared. So if we apply this equation for the particle p, which is a, so if we, we have to take a from a to c again. So for, so for particular P, if you apply y equals k plus tan k plus x tan theta minus g x squared so x squared theta over 2u squared so y is the this vertical distance r to time t naught which is we don't know so you can take that as y equals uh, so k is the initial uh, vertical distance as we took for the first part so the initial vertical distance for particle p is h so y equals h plus x is the horizontal distance which is d here so d tan theta we should take as the uh, angle that it was projected so d tan alpha minus g so x is d again g d squared so x squared alpha over 2 u is what we are take is b and u is the initial and the, is the velocity that is projected initially 2 b squared 
that is we can take as equation A. So if we similarly apply that equation for particle Q, from B to C, so again y will be equal to k will be h over 2 x will be d theta here will be, we take, can take as theta minus g again d square so square beta over 2 w square that will be our equation b so to further prove for what they have given for h so we have two equations equations a and b so for these equations a common term is y so we can equate these two equations a equals b so then we can say therefore h plus d tan alpha minus g d square sec squared alpha so 2 v squared will be equal to h over 2 plus d tan beta minus g d squared sec squared beta over 2 w squared so we can take h over 2 to the left hand side so it will be h minus h over 2 and we can take d tan alpha minus g d squared sec squared alpha over 2 b squared to the right hand side so then we take those terms to the right hand side we can say d within brackets tan beta minus tan alpha because d tan alpha when you take take into the right hand side will be minus d tan alpha so when you take d as the common term out will be d within brackets tan beta minus tan alpha so when also plus g d squared over 2 within brackets squared alpha minus v squared over v squared minus sec squared beta over w squared because when we take minus g d squared g d squared sec squared alpha over 2 v squared to the right hand side we can say that we can take g d squared over 2 as the common term out and within backhands we can say sec squared alpha over v squared minus sec squared beta over w squared so previously we proved that b cos alpha equals w cos beta so also then we can say b over sec alpha equals w over sec beta so we can take so also from that we can say that sec alpha over b equals sec beta over w so so also then sec sec squared alpha over b squared we can also be equal to sec squared beta over w squared so these two terms will be cancelled out and be 0 so when when you multiply g d squared over 2 by 0 this whole term will be cancelled out so what will remain is h minus h over 2 equals d tan beta minus tan alpha so if you multiply this whole equation by 2 so it will be 2h minus h equals 2d times tan alpha minus tan beta therefore 2h minus h will be h so therefore h equals 2d times tan alpha minus tan beta so which they have asked secondly so now we can move on to find where yeah, they have asked the time taken is it uh, showed 2 times w sin beta minus v sin alpha so we can move on to that so to prove that the time taken for the two particles to meet is h over 2 over w sin beta minus v sin alpha so we can start from this equation so from this equation we can get the we can get if we subject d d will be equal h over 
2 times 10 beta minus 10 alpha. And also previously from the projectiles we got, uh, so the particle P we got T naught equals B over V cos alpha, if you all can remember. So now we can apply, we can apply what we got for D here. So then T naught will be equal to uh, H over 2V cos alpha times tan beta minus tan alpha. So simplifying, simplifying further, so we can take tan beta and tan alpha in terms of sin beta and cos sin beta cos beta and sin alpha cos alpha. Therefore T naught will be equal to H over U V cos alpha over sin beta cos beta minus sin alpha over cos alpha. So if we bring v, bring this uh, v cos alpha into the bracket, which will be h over 2 times v cos alpha times sin beta over cos beta minus v cos alpha sin alpha over cos alpha. So this cos alpha cos alpha and cos alpha will be cancelled. So for then for this v cos alpha we got that v cos alpha equals w cos beta. So then we can substitute for v cos alpha as w cos beta. So as I said for this v cos alpha we can substitute w cos beta. So then when you substitute uh, w cos beta for this v cos alpha and keep this v cos alpha then you can see that cos alpha will be cancelled and cos beta will be cancelled therefore t naught will be equal to h over 2 times so cos, cos beta will be cancelled w sin beta minus since so cos alpha will be cancelled v sin alpha so that's what they have, they have asked us to prove and that's the completion of the question so this brings the end of this video and this question. Hope you all learned something from this uh, from this question, the 2012 A-Level Projectors question. And uh, I'd like to remind you all to subscribe to my for more uh, combined maths related questions and for you all to improve. And yeah, thank you for watching.